Young Lady. This photo was taken in 1936 in Raynham Hall in Norfolk, England, by two photographers of Country Life magazine. Raynham Hall was long reputed to be haunted by the ghost of Lady Dorothy Townsend, who died in 1726. The ghost had been seen on many occasions throughout the years when it was spotted descending these stairs by the Country Life photographers, who quickly took a snapshot. Number 4. Freddie Jackson Freddie Jackson was a mechanic in the Royal Air Force in World War I. Freddie Jackson's squadron served on board the HMS Daedalus. Freddie Jackson was killed in 1919 when an airplane propeller hit him. Two days later, when the squadron assembled for a group photo, Freddie Jackson faithfully showed up, grinning behind the ear of a fellow comrade. Guess nobody bothered to tell Freddie Jackson that he was dead. Number 3. The Hampton Court Ghost This one became fairly well known after it was released in December of 2003. Hampton Court, near London, was one of Henry VIII's favorite hangouts. A fire door inside the castle kept being opened when no one was supposed to be around. Guards checked the security camera's videotape and spotted this figure in period costume walking through the door. Castle personnel swear they don't know who did this, noting that they don't even have a costume that looks like this. Number 2. Ghost in the Choir Loft In 1982, photographer Chris Brackley took a photograph of the interior of London's St. Boltoff's Church, but never expected what would appear on the film. High in the church's loft, seen in the upper right-hand corner of his photograph, is the transparent form of what looks like a woman. According to Brackley, to his knowledge, there were only three people in the church at the time the photo was taken, and none of them were in that loft. Number 1. The Newbie Church Monk Reverend K.F. Lord took a picture of the altar at his church in New Yorkshire, England, and this is what came out. The picture and the negative are said to have been thoroughly examined by photographic experts and they can't find any evidence that this was either a double exposure or artificially altered. The thing is calculated to be standing nine feet tall and no one's found any record of a monk that humongous ever being at Newby Church.